What's up YouTube? Welcome back to a new video. If this is your first time here on the channel, thanks for stopping by. Definitely check out some of my other videos and if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. I recently just came back from a little mini road trip that my husband and I took. Um, last weekend we went to go see my son who's off at grad school and we hadn't seen him in months. Um, so it was great to see him and uh, his roommates and his new apartment and he gave us a tour of the new school that he's at for grad school so that was awesome we had a fantastic time so for those of you that don't know i primarily play my nintendo switch in handheld mode i personally consider it a handheld console i know other people out there don't and that's okay but i primarily play in handheld mode the only time that i dock my switch is when I am streaming a Switch game, right? Um, so because I play it in handheld mode so frequently and I take it with me every single day, um, like I'll take it to work, you know, wherever it is, I take my Nintendo Switch with me. Um, so since I knew I was going on this little mini road trip, I wanted to purchase a new Nintendo Switch travel bag and I love it and I just wanted to talk a bit about it and, uh, you know, basically, show you what's inside my Nintendo Switch travel bag. This is the Wandoff. I believe that's how you say it. It's the Wandoff Switch um, travel bag. This is the dark gray color. It also comes in like a light gray and it's a crossbody travel bag, which I absolutely love. I love all crossbody type of bags. I find them to be more comfortable. This primarily just has Switch stuff in it. You could pretty much use this bag for anything, honestly. Um, but, you know, I use it for my Nintendo Switch and accessories and all that good stuff. I also have a purse that I keep all of my personables in and I carry around with me as well. But when it comes to the Switch, all my stuff is in here. As I mentioned, this is a crossbody bag. And what I like about it is um, you can switch the, the shoulder strap. So if you're a righty or a lefty, you can switch it to your liking. I'm a righty. This doesn't bother me at all. Uh, but I like the fact that you can switch it. I also like the fact that this bag is just super basic. It's simple. I am in my early 40s. And I don't want to walk around with a themed like Pokemon or Splatoon travel bag. I know Hori puts out, um, you know, travel bags for the Nintendo Switch as well. Uh, that's just not for me at this stage of my life. So I like the fact that this bag is just simple. Um, it's sleek, you know, it's slim and it's super spacious. I also appreciate the fact that it has a little USB um charge right here if you have a portable usb usb charger you can charge it up to the bag uh, i don't so i haven't tried that functionality out yet um but yeah super convenient so let me show you what's inside of my wand off switch travel bag this is uh some of the stuff in here i took with me um on my trip on my little mini road trip and most of the stuff in here is stuff that i keep with me uh, on a day-to-day -day basis so this bag does have three separate pouches you have your small pouch here you have a, a middle pouch and a pouch all the way in the back a larger pouch there um this little small pouch let's just open it up i keep my game cards or cases i don't know holders um with me makes things so much easier for portability i don't have to carry around a bunch of game cases um so i always keep this with me i don't know especially when i go on little trips um i like to have a variety like to you know switch it up sometimes and have some different games in there and i also have um my uh airpods my AirPod Pros, uh, now that the Switch, you're not, you know, you're able to use the Bluetooth, Bluetooth functionality and hook up headsets. I typically use these when I'm on the road. This middle pouch right here is just one big compartment. There's no pockets or anything in here, uh, but it is pretty deep. I don't know if you guys can see that, but in here, I do keep my Nintendo 3DS. Uh, since it's spooky season, I've been playing my 3DS. I've been playing Luigi's Mansion on there. And I also kept my charger in there, you know. Um, yeah, having a blast with Luigi's Mansion. I realized that I never played through. I've completed Luigi's Mansion 2 or Dark Moon. I completed Luigi's Mansion 3, but I never played really the first Luigi's Mansion game on the three on the GameCube. And I had it on 3DS. I was like, yep, spooky season's here. It's time for me to finally play it. I also have lip balm um, or chapstick, whatever you want to call it. Uh, like I said, I do also have a purse, but uh, 
those of you that use chapstick and lip balm and lip gloss, you know, you need a couple of options. You need some, you know, they always get misplaced um, and it's just always good to have. So I do carry around a couple of lip, lip balms with me wherever I go. And then the last compartment here, you got some uh, different pockets. Um, I really do think this is spacious. Like I said, it's crazy how much space is in here. You can technically fit your dock and everything, a controller in this one pouch. Like it really is spacious. I don't, when I go on road trips, I don't bring my, my dock along with me. So I have no use for that. Um, but I do bring, I'm going to show you guys. I do always have my Satisfy Grip, which I absolutely love. And of course, my Nintendo Switch. So if you can see here, it's in a little compartment and my case is stowed in there nice and safe. There is padding in this little pocket right here. It's not like a lot of padding, but there is some extra protection there. And there is also another little pocket here, if you guys can see that. But it's super spacious. There's a lot of space in this travel bag. Um, it's not, I mean, I guess it will be heavy depending on the things that you put in here. But with what I travel with um, on a day-to-day -day basis and when I went on this little mini road trip, wasn't heavy at all. I also have an iPad mini that I was able to fit in this bag. I don't take it with me on a day-to-day -day basis, but whenever I go on a trip, I do like to have my iPad with me um, just so I can watch YouTube and Netflix and all that good stuff um, while I'm in a hotel room. Um, so that fit in here, you know, no problem. So that's everything inside of my Switch travel bag. I'm really impressed by this bag. I also really like this material. It feels like it's canvas, but it's water resistant, uh, which is very helpful. Love the simplistic style, um, super spacious, and the price was right. On Amazon, I got this for 19 bucks. Can't beat that. Um, I really am digging this bag. And if you're interested, I'll leave the link in the in the um, description box below. You guys can check it out. Um, it's a great travel bag. Do any of you guys out there have like a travel bag that you keep all your video game stuff in? If you do, let me know what you keep in it in the comment box below. I want to thank all of you for watching this video and I'll check you next time. Peace.